one. And behold, the veil of the temple were rent in twine from the top to the bottom. And the earth did quake, and the rocks rent. And the grave... That, that's good right there. Can you imagine? Jesus Christ said, it is finished. All right. And his flesh dies. And at that very moment, you see that priest working in the holy place. And he hears a and he turns around. And there was the place wide open that was forbidden for man to go. The veil was rent in two, signifying that now this glory of God, this holiest of holies, is made available to everyone. Amen. This glory of God is made available. That we can boldly go into that place. Yes. Like the Holy Amen. This is so powerful. Um, first Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Somebody read that for me. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Which, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own. Many times we try to take things unto ourselves when it's not ours. We get our feelings hurt. This and that. that we get offended. It's not ours. We're not our own. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. You see, before... God's glory dwelt in a tabernacle. Right. right. That no man could go. But now we can boldly go into this holiest of holies, into the glory of God. Why? Because the glory of God comes into us. Right. And we become that tabernacle that right. the glory of God chooses to dwell. Right. Amen. Lord, thank you, Lord. We love you. We worship you. Thank you for your goodness and for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for choosing to dwell within my soul, making us the temple of your spirit. Lord, I want your spirit in my life. I want your promise in my life. I pray your blessing upon this house. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.